Donald Trump must be freaking out right now because in a brand new poll for the 2024 Republican nomination, his support has plummeted and now he's in a virtual tie with Ron DeSantis for the Republican nomination. This is significant because in every poll we've seen, every 2024 Republican poll, Trump has been way out in front. DeSantis has been a clear and strong second, but often 20, 30, 40 points behind Donald Trump. And in this poll, we'll go over it, Donald Trump has fallen 20 points since the last iteration, and he's tied with DeSantis within the margin of error. If you look, you have people like Rubio and Tim Scott and Pence and Noman Cruz sort of hanging out between two and five, then Nikki Haley at six, Christie at seven, DeSantis at 25, and Trump at 26. Again, it has never been this close. So if you're in the Donald Trump camp, you are freaking out right now because it's never even been in doubt with the polling that while DeSantis was well liked, he was nowhere near you. And even if you think this poll is a one off, even if you think maybe it's underestimating Trump's support a little bit, blah, 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 the fact that he's not up by 20 anymore really shows that he is losing some of his grip on the Republican Party. And there's a couple reasons why this matters going forward for how we follow Trump and the American right. Clearly, there is some movement towards DeSantis and away from Trump. And you're seeing it from two parts of the Republican Party. One we've covered a lot, which is big money behind the scenes. A lot of millionaire and billionaire GOP donors were happy with Trump. They didn't hate Trump, but they think Trump is washed up and they think that Trump is being too unhinged and that he's not actually focused on the conservative issues. And they think somebody like Ron DeSantis has the same dangerous right-wing ideology, far-right ideology, but is younger and more focused. And so a lot of big money behind the scenes, sometimes quietly, sometimes not with 100% committal, but they're gradually moving over to DeSantis. And so that big GOP donor movement is a signal that the party ground is shifting. And there's another example, and I didn't do a video on this, but a couple weeks ago, there was a meeting of young conservatives and people there said they didn't necessarily hate Trump, but they also thought that it was time for a younger, strong man type leader that could take the next generation of the MAGA movement forward. And they didn't all necessarily say they wanted to DeSantis, but DeSantis does fit that bill. He's very conservative. He is part of the broad pro-Trump camp in the Republican Party. He's taken a lot of positions the Republican base likes, and he's significantly younger than Donald Trump. And so you can see maybe why this is happening. But why this matters for us in the short term is this is going to cause Trump to go absolutely berserk. If you think Trump is unhinged now, if you think Trump Trump goes into the media ranting and raving like a lunatic now. Imagine what it's going to be like if he can't take the Republican nomination for granted. If he can't just complain about things knowing in the back of his head that if he wants to run in 2024, he can. Now there's not even the guarantee if polling like this continues to come out. And so you're going to see him lash out at Ron DeSantis and lash out at other Republicans, not just the quote unquote anti-Trump rhinos that he's always lashed out against. This is going to take that private hatred Trump has of DeSantis. He's been screaming behind the scenes that he effing hates DeSantis and bring it into the public. And so if you want to see Republican infighting and if you want to see the GOP tear itself apart, this sort of polling could be the catalyst to make that happen. But one thing we have to make absolutely clear, DeSantis is not an improvement of Trump and he may be worse. I don't think this is necessarily good news but it is showing an effective reality coming forward. Donald Trump may not be the lock that he thought he was for the next nomination.